Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Deep Dive Knowledge. Hello. I read your article on LoRa and fine tuning in machine learning models. It seems like LoRa is a popular strategy for addressing the difficulties with traditional fine tuning methods. I have a few questions to better understand the topic. Can you explain how LoRa compresses parameter changes and reduces memory and storage requirements? Certainly. LoRa compresses parameter changes and reduces memory and storage requirements by taking advantage of the linear dependence between weight matrices in a large language model. In traditional fine-tuning, we directly adjust the model's parameters to adapt to a specific task. This requires storing and updating all the model's parameters, which can be memory-intensive and time-consuming. LoRa takes a different approach. Instead of directly adjusting the parameters, LoRa learns the factors of a change matrix. This change matrix represents the difference between the pre-trained weights and the fine-tuned weights. By learning the factors of this change matrix, LoRa can capture the essential information needed for fine-tuning. The key insight of LoRa is that weight matrices in large language models are often over-parameterized, meaning they have more parameters than are theoretically necessary. This over-parameterization leads to linear dependence between the weight matrices. By exploiting this linear dependence, LoRa can compress the parameter changes into a smaller set of learnable parameters. These learnable parameters describe the changes needed for the fine-tuning task. Since the number of learnable parameters in LoRa is significantly smaller than the total number of model parameters, memory and storage requirements are reduced. In summary, LoRa achieves parameter compression and reduces memory and storage requirements by learning the factors of a change matrix, which captures the necessary information for fine-tuning while leveraging the linear dependence between weight matrices in large language models. Thank you for the explanation. It's interesting how LoRa takes advantage of the linear dependence between weight matrices to compress parameter changes and reduce memory and storage requirements. However, I have a concern regarding the accuracy of the fine-tuned model when using LoRa. Since LoRa compresses the parameter changes, is there a risk of losing important information during the fine-tuning process? How does LoRa ensure that the compressed parameter changes still capture the essential information needed for accurate fine-tuning? According to the report, there is a potential risk of losing important information during the fine-tuning process when using LoRa. This is because LoRa compresses the parameter changes into a smaller set of values, which may not fully capture all the essential information needed for accurate fine-tuning. However, LoRa addresses this concern by leveraging the assumption that weight matrices in a large language model have a lot of linear dependence due to over-parameterization, Overparameterization means that the model has more parameters than is theoretically required. This overparameterization is beneficial during pre-training. By assuming linear dependence, LoRa aims to capture the important information in the parameter changes using a smaller set of values. The core idea behind LoRa is to learn the factors of the parameter change matrix instead of directly learning the parameter changes themselves. Through training matrices A and B, LoRa finds the optimal changes to the pre-trained weights. These matrices capture the factors of the parameter change matrix and are used to update the model's parameters during the fine-tuning process. Although there is a risk of losing some information, LoRa tries to mitigate this by leveraging the linear dependence in weight matrices and learning the factors of the parameter change matrix. This approach allows LoRa to compress the parameter changes while still capturing the essential information needed for accurate fine-tuning. Thank you for clarifying that. 
It's interesting to see how Laura leverages the assumption of linear dependence and the factors of the parameter change matrix to capture the essential information during fine-tuning. However, I'm curious about the trade-off between the level of parameter compression and the accuracy of the fine-tuned model. In LoRa, when compressing the parameter changes, is there a threshold or limit to how much compression can be applied? How does LoRa ensure that the compressed parameter changes do not result in a significant loss of accuracy in the fine-tuned model? In LoRa, there is no specific limit or threshold to the level of parameter compression that can be applied. The level of compression depends on the specific task and the desired trade-off between model size and fine-tuning performance. However, it is important to note that excessive compression may lead to a substantial decrease in the accuracy of the fine-tuned model. To address the concern of potential accuracy decrease, LoRa employs a mechanism called rank selection to guarantee that the compressed parameter changes do not have a significant impact on the fine-tuned model's accuracy. Rank selection involves identifying the optimal rank for the compressed parameter change matrix. The rank of a matrix represents the number of linearly independent columns or rows in the matrix. In the context of LoRa, the rank of the parameter change matrix determines the number of important factors required to accurately represent the changes in the model parameters. By selecting the appropriate rank, LoRa ensures that the compressed parameter changes capture the essential information necessary for fine-tuning without sacrificing accuracy. The selection of the optimal rank is typically achieved through a process called model validation. The fine-tuned model's performance is evaluated using a validation set, and different ranks are tested to find the one that achieves the best balance between compression and accuracy. This validation process guarantees that the compressed parameter changes in LoRa do not lead to a substantial decrease in the accuracy of the fine-tuned model. Furthermore, it's important to highlight that LoRa leverages the assumption of linear dependence between weight matrices in large language models. This assumption allows LoRa to effectively capture the relationships between parameters and learn the factors of the parameter change matrix. By exploiting these linear dependencies, LoRa can achieve parameter compression without sacrificing fine-tuning accuracy. In summary, while there is no specific limit to parameter compression in LoRa, the selection of the optimal rank through model validation ensures that the compressed parameter changes do not lead to a substantial decrease in the accuracy of the fine-tuned model. Thank you for the detailed explanation. It's reassuring to know that LoRa employs rank selection and model validation to find the optimal level of compression that maintains the accuracy of the fine-tuned model. Moving on. I'm curious about the computational efficiency of LoRa compared to traditional fine-tuning methods. In the report, it is mentioned that LoRa reduces the memory and storage requirements. But does it also result in faster training times? How does LoRa's computational efficiency compare to traditional fine-tuning methods? Yes. LoRa's parameter compression and reduction in memory and storage requirements do lead to faster training times compared to traditional fine-tuning methods. The computational efficiency of LoRa is achieved by learning the factors of the parameter change matrix instead of directly learning the parameter changes. This approach takes advantage of the linear dependence between weight matrices in large language models. In traditional fine-tuning, all model parameters need to be updated during the training process, which can be computationally expensive and time-consuming. However, with LoRa, only the matrices A and B, which are much smaller than the full set of model parameters, need to be updated. This results in a faster backpropagation step to update A and B, leading to faster training times. 
Additionally, LoRa has a smaller memory footprint because the change matrix is computed on the fly and never stored. Only the model parameters, matrices A and B, and the gradients of A and B are stored during training. This further contributes to the computational efficiency of LoRa. Based on these factors, despite having more operations in the training process, LoRa is generally faster than traditional fine-tuning methods. It offers a significant improvement in training time while still achieving high performance. Thank you for clarifying that LoRa offers faster training times compared to traditional fine-tuning methods due to its parameter compression and reduced memory footprint. I'd like to delve deeper into the training process of LoRa. In the report, it mentions that LoRa learns the factors of the parameter change matrix using matrices A and B. Could you explain how these matrices A and B are learned during the training process? What is the specific mechanism that allows LoRa to capture the factors of the parameter change matrix?